but I've been putting people on notice for quite some time now. And if you haven't been paying attention, man, I suggest that you do. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to EP09. Alright, so we're going to start this one off with an update from Derek Lunsford. Now, Derek has done a really great job keeping the fans updated since the 2022 Olympia. And Derek has been laser-focused on that 2023 Olympia since last year. Even a $300,000 check from the Arnold Classic couldn't distract Derek for even a second. He wants that Olympia title. And I think he has a legitimate shot at taking it this year. And Derek is really starting to take his Olympia prep to the next level. This recent back training video was ridiculous to watch, you guys. His back shots are especially impressive when he enters prep. He's ridiculously wide, thick, especially for his height. And remember, Derek was only in the 230 pound range on stage at the Olympia last year. And look, you guys, the legs have definitely grew, by a substantial amount, I think, as well. Now, Derek has always been someone that trains very smart, and he does push it in the gym, there's no question. But during this recent back training session, Derek just looked like he was training, like an absolute animal. Really training hard, like you used to see from guys back in, like, the 90s and early 2000s era. You've got heavy weight, compound movements, really worked up, and just really pissed off during a set. And you know what? From what we've seen... This is not a common practice for Derek. The progress he's made since the 2022 Olympia from a muscle mass standpoint, I think is definitely measurable. But we really just might see Derek Lunsford take his training and his prep to new heights that we've never seen before. And especially, I think if Derek ends up in that dark place during his last few weeks of the Olympia prep, that could make for a very, very dangerous Derek Lunsford this year. So you guys let me know below, where do you think Derek Lunsford will land in the Olympia this year? So Derek's updates are very impressive, and then you look at the latest update from Samson Dowda, and you start to question where the entire Olympia lineup is going to place this year. Samson just dropped an absolute bombshell with this update. He was reportedly weighing in at 330 pounds at 16 weeks out, but man, if Samson had have said he was 340, I really wouldn't have questioned it. Samson has said in the past that he really doesn't get flat, but this level of roundness and fullness at 14 weeks out, combined with this level of conditioning, really makes you consider just how legitimate of a shot Samson has at being Mr. Olympia this year. You can clearly see in this update that the legs are going to be bigger, the arms are bigger, the delts are bigger, the chest, and he showed us at 16 weeks out exactly what we can expect from the back. The fact of the matter is, Samson is looking more and more like Mr. Olympia with every update. I wouldn't say that he has any quote-unquote weak shots at this point. They're shots that he'll get beat on, but in terms of weaknesses, I'm really not seeing any. Samson is very well balanced and looking very impressive and very dangerous, and at 14 weeks out, he's already putting the competition on notice. Alright, so I found a guest posing that recently featured Xu Ming Yan, and I spoke about Xu Ming Yan at 9 weeks out, but you know, I wanted to talk about him again, because nobody right now is talking about Xu Ming Yan, and I think more people should be. So Xu Ming Yan appeared at a recent guest posing at an amateur show in China, and at about 8 weeks out of the Yamamoto Cup, and under terrible lighting I might say, there's only one thing that we can definitely say for sure from this guest posing. Xu Ming Yan is absolutely massive, and he's definitely bigger than he was in 2022. Conditioning wise, it's hard to tell where he's at from this guest posing. It looks like he's on track, but he also claims to be further ahead in the conditioning department this year than he was last year. So like I said, it's safe to say that the size is there. The conditioning looks on track for now. The only question now is going to be the midsection. Has the added size forced the unfortunate consequence of a blown out midsection? And to be honest, I'm pretty optimistic that once he shreds down, the midsection is going to look drastically better. If you look at his 2022 showing, on that stage the midsection was definitely not blown out. So, if he can keep that midsection in check and showcase that added muscle with undeniable conditioning, I think Xu Ming could be a top 3 finisher in this show coming up. And standing next to the likes of Regan Grimes, this is going to make for a really exciting comparison. So last up for you guys, one other competitor that really needs to be spoken about again is Kareth Bajo. Now you guys around here know how big of a Kareth Bajo fan I am. Mark's Max Muscle is a huge Kareth Bajo fan as well. And how could you not be? He's consistently better every season. He won the 2023 New York Pro in 212, and many have said that Kareth could have beaten Tony O'Burton at that show if he had the opportunity to post down with him. 
He's continued to improve on his placings at the Olympia. He was 8th in 2021, 7th in 2022, and most definitely has the potential to finish at the top 5 this year, maybe even higher. But you know, Kareth doesn't feel that he's been getting the proper recognition. Check out this clip here. Your boy's been killing it. I've been killing it. I've been doing this thing and I consistently get better. You know, for whatever reason, I, I'm not in that limelight. I don't get that publicity that these guys who, you know, have the same accolades as me get. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. But I've been putting people on notice for quite some time now. And if you haven't been paying attention, then I suggest that you do. And you know, I honestly think that part of it is a 212 thing. The 212 division in general, I just think doesn't get the recognition that it should. It always seems like it's been overshadowed by the open division. Unless you're in the conversation for the top five at the Olympia, even the top three, I think. When it comes to the 212, athletes just get lost in the conversation. But you know, Kareth is positioning himself to be one of those guys in that conversation again. I think his overall balance is going to be hard to contend with, his level of hardness, graininess, and fullness is going to be hard to contend with, and I think his time is coming to start getting recognized to the degree I think he's speaking about here. There's one surefire way to make sure that happens, and that's to show up absolutely undeniable on show day, which is exactly what Kareth has been doing lately. So let me know in the comments below where you think Kareth Baja is going to land in the 2023 Olympia lineup this year, and let me know if you agree or not about the 212 not getting the recognition it deserves as a division. Anyway, that's it for me in this video you guys, I just finished up a few days of vacation, really really enjoyed it, so I'm glad to be back, stay tuned for more updates, we've got the big man weekend coming up, thank you for tuning in to EP09, be sure to like and subscribe.